An Australian telco has apologised after customers received welcome to Palestine messages upon landing in Israel. Vodafone says the message was sent in error, but they have left Jewish customers deeply offended. Senior reporter Caroline Marcus has the story. Natalie Gutman was shocked when her son and husband received this text message upon arriving in Israel, welcoming them to Palestine. I was pretty horrified, actually. He was very rattled when he got it, and um, he sort of said, what the hell is going on? The Jewish family received the message twice in the past fortnight on landing in Tel Aviv. I do find it offensive. For me personally, my family lived in Hebron. Members of my family, of my father's family, lived in Hebron for 300 years. Anti-Defamation Commission Chair Davir Abramovich is furious. We don't expect a company like Vodafone to become an immoral partner in this effort to erase and to deny Israel's legitimacy. The messages from Vodafone are especially bizarre because Australia doesn't recognise Palestine as a state and Tel Aviv is not even considered occupied like the West Bank or Gaza. A Vodafone spokesperson said welcome texts are fully automated. Our partner networks in the Palestinian territories are designated with welcome to Palestine messages. An incorrect welcome message may be inadvertently sent when customers cross borders. We apologise for any offence or stress this may have caused them. This week, Foreign Minister Penny Wong flagged that the government is considering moving towards a recognition of a Palestinian state to build momentum for a two-state solution, a shift the opposition and Jewish groups warn will reward Hamas's terror attack in Israel on October 7. Caroline Marcus, Sky News.